Belly Chopper, Dundada, Shada, Baby Mexico, got guns like Okada, you know what it is, Shada Flow, Shada Flam, a grrrr, what the fuck that nigga does when he does a C-Chopper, that boy, like, what the fuck, anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry if this is the first video you've seen of me and I'm acting like a buffoon, what's up with Sam, it's K, we back in this thing, K so good that he sleep with a cut up, but sure I want to tell him we back in here, and we got stacks in here, hopefully we get some stacks, if you want to help your boy get some money, you know, like, subscribe, help your boy, help your boy grow, you know what I'm saying? Share that with the fan base one time. Share that with this fan base one time. Hey, we happy, Nick, community, good mob. We going strong, so you might as well join up, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we here to talk about NLE Chopper, NLE Chakra at one point. And basically, we have seen the positivity be going down and down. Now, I know my nigga's still positive. He just ain't show that because, yo, we ignorant. We want to drill, kill shit. Let's keep it a buck in the hip-hop community. We want to drill, kill type of shit let's continue but anyways he's still a positive man does his shit now eventually ever since he's got arrested out one time for alleged guns or whatever he's saying how the police set him up we don't know i wouldn't be surprised if they did let's keep it a book but that happened and he dropped the beatbox thing he's like yo one time only i'm back on my bullshit so he's like cool okay you back on your bullshit for one time then he dropped final warning and i'm like yeah buddy i think you back on uh shot of flow chopper you know what i'm saying now, Chakra, you back to Shada Flow Chopper. But I digress. I ain't mad at it. Hey, we're going to keep it a book. The shot, the Shada album, Top Shada album, I enjoyed. I enjoyed Bryson. Or was it Dark to Light? <laughs> I call it Bryson, whatever the fuck. But like, it's a cool it's a cool time. And whatever. And now we back into this because allegedly he was getting into a little scuffle while he was walking the beach. You know, real quick. And he explains it. And we're just going to read about what he says real quick. You hear me? But anyways, yeah, let's get into this shit real quick, man. Don't play with Chopper. We seen what the academics thing when he thought like, oh, Chopper was like soft or whatever. He's like, hey, listen, I might be a nice nigga, but don't play with me, bro. I'm from the block. If it's go, it's go. So I already knew what time he was on. And sadly, this person might have not knew the time he was going to get. But anyways, let's talk about this shit real quick. You heard me? So basically, we got a guy here, Emily Chopper, explaining why he got into a fight. On the beach, and he claims that the man disrespected him after being denied a photo. So, NLE Chapo just wanted to walk the beach with his friends during a recent trip to Los Angeles, but where a fan allegedly wanted to take a picture with the rapper, he declined. According to the 18 year old rapper, I didn't know this motherfucker was 18. Wait, actually, yeah, it makes sense. I thought he was at least 19 or 20 by now, but it makes sense. I always forget young boy older than this nigga, but anyways, the fan started disrespecting him once. He was denied a photo, which prompted a physical fight to break out. A video of Enali Chapa and his crew beating down a man in Venice Beach took social media by storm, as many were surprised to see the rapper in such a predicament. At the time, it was unclear why Chapa and his team were so violent towards the man, knocking him down in the sand and reportedly, and repeatedly, not reportedly, repeatedly throwing punches. It didn't take too long for the rapper to explain his side of the story. Now, I will put the video here, but TMZ copyright claims everything so i'm sorry but the video basically we see dude they talking dude gets off his scooter his mini bike whatever drops his backpack he catches an elite chopper one time nicely he caught him nice so i ain't gonna cap caught him one time and then the rest of them just took over they beat his ass they threw him in the sand was punching him i think i seen a motherfucker stomp him one time and it was what it was and some lady was recording in the background talking on us and say oh my god oh i guess he's a rapper oh my gosh i'm not gonna stop the fight not, I have no power in this. I'm not gonna stop the fight. She sounded like a true Karen. I ain't gonna care. But anyways, I'm not here to say that. But anyways, we got a quote from NLE Chopper. YouTube, leave my ass alone because this is a quote and I'm reading this verbatim. Damn, y'all never got hit in a fight before. Asked NLE Chopper to Twitter. Bruh, at, bruh asked for a photo. I said, nah, I'm enjoying myself and I get called scary and a bitch. I make sure I take pictures with every fan, but some days I just want to chill and get disrespected in the process, and I ate punches. Ask about me. I'm going to rush you, take what you got to give, and resume beating some. Honestly, I ain't want to fight. Honestly, I ain't want to fight. I was just trying to walk the beach. You know what I'm saying? That was the response was from Chopper. And honestly, I understand. Listen, listen, listen. I get it. Like, see, this is the thing, fans and 
artists or famous people have to take in. You as a famous person, you get bombarded and asked for pictures a lot. So us as fans have to understand they ain't always on go. They ain't, they ain't fucking robots. Even though I do believe Elon Musk and fucking Mark Zuckerberg are fucking robots. I'm not going to lie to you. But anyways, not everybody's a fucking robot. They're not fucking just like they can turn it on and turn it off whenever like like at the flick of a switch. Like they're fucking people. So they do get tired and annoying. And if they're on vacation or on like a mini break or whatever... Some you might see them and it is what it is. We've seen the same thing with Omari Hardwick when he was out with his family. I think it was Mother's Day or whatever. And then somebody seen him and wanted to take a picture. He's like, no, I'm with my family. Leave me alone. So I can understand him just having some time to himself before he has to go record or do an appearance or whatever the hell. And I, and I get it. It is quarantine and like pandemic. They're not moving around as much. But still, it's probably tired doing all this stuff been recording doing all this like music stuff is like it's fun to be bryson and not in the lee chopper you know what i'm saying it's fun to be bryson just kick back walk the beach and just like get some peace relax a little bit you know what i'm saying i understand that aspect of where in the lee chopper is coming from but you also gotta like in the lee chopper i'm not saying give him the picture but you also gotta understand where the fan coming from. He never thought in a thousand days he was gonna see you in the flesh. Niggas ain't really doing like shows and pop ups like that. So you can't even go to the show and pay for like the meet and greet package to get the autograph and your little picture with the artist. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So because you can't do that shit, like if somebody catches you, they're like, oh my god, it's NLE Chopper. I love your music. I fought with you. Yo, can I get a picture? It's a generic response. And you handled it very well. But I can also understand. Not, again, the fan disrespecting you I'm not, is not called for. But I can understand the disappointment of him not knowing in a million years they would meet one of their like favorite artists or an artist they really fuck with. Seeing them like, oh, can I please get a picture? I fuck with you so much. Da, 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 da. And then it's like, no. Right? So there's two sides. Like, you can sympathize and kind of empathize. Like, yeah, I understand. Like you, like you really give, you really wanted the picture from you. Fuck with him. I get it. But then you also like, bro, he's human. Like, gotta let him relax from time to time. You know, shit. shit. You might even shit. It is what it is. You know. It is what it is, man. But hey, honestly, there shouldn't have been a fight. I'm not gonna uh, prop him for <laughs> beating up the fan. But hey, listen, you don't play with certain niggas. Listen, just like I've been saying, a lot of these rappers now in the game, they street niggas. Leave them niggas be. You can't talk to them niggas any which way and expect no repercussion. A motherfucker will beat you, take your ass to court, and win. <laughs> and make you pay for their legal bills. Ain't that a bitch? So sometimes you just gotta be like, yo, you got it, and it is what it is. But I, I understand the fans' perspective of, I, I, I didn't think I would meet this man today. It's great. Why shouldn't I ask for the picture? But he went about it wrong. He should just be like, no, all right, it what it is. Shit, you might even like, yo, my bad, not today. You might even got a dad pop or something. Maybe you got a cool little story, you know, cool little story or whatever. Shit, it was what it was. You just could have even recorded like, oh look, in the chop at Venice Beach, and you could have just continued your life. But hey, it is what it is. But anyway, shout out Emily Chopper. You didn't really do anything wrong. <laughs> Oh, I don't condone beating him up, but you ain't really did anything wrong. And he caught you he caught you a good time. So I understand. You have to stop that motherfucker on the beach. But it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm going to clickbait this shit as a motherfucker. I ain't going to cap. But anyways, I'm off of this thing real quick, man. Slime Zoom Peace, y'all. If you like what you hear, you like what you see, subscribe to the team. You know what it is. Go to my We too strong. We like the Navy and this shit. Aye.